When we talk about China specifically, mm -hmm. they are uniquely positioned to target the United States from the United States. That's mm -hmm. how they function because they know that we lack visibility there. Mm -hmm. And so over the last several years, we really are in daily collaboration with our partners on what these obfuscation networks are, we call them, where China has compromised a small home or office router and mm -hmm. they're targeting from there, or a local university computer and then they target from there. And so we're trying to build out what these networks look like. And it is a constant collaboration with the internet service providers and the cloud providers. We've enumerated 300,000 nodes that we see China using targeting the United States. And mm -hmm. so through that illumination, we've able to find zero day vulnerabilities that the community wasn't tracking because we recognized hey, this network that we know is China's operated is connecting to one of our defense contractors. Let's talk to them about what they see. Oh, we see this environment being compromised. We've rebuilt the environment. They're coming back. There's a previously unknown vulnerability. We're able to bring in all the different vendors to see that activity. In that particular case, we recognized that it was a vulnerability we hadn't seen before. Mm -hmm. We built detections for it, but we had no idea if they were any good or yep. if they were specific yep. to one partner. We shared it out with the other defense contractors, found out four other ones were being impacted by this zero-day vulnerability. So th those are the types of campaigns that would have taken months to years to find previously. Yeah, we found absolutely. it in about two weeks of the start of exploitation, and we're able to get out the hunting and the detections while the patch was being worked so that we could do it all together and try to remediate the threat.